everybody, welcome back, and I know this is a weird video already, but, um, it's a vlog, so I know I'm gonna try something different, just cause, um, I already filmed this week's videos, and I have nothing to do, so, yeah, um, you can see my cats all excited here, but, pretty much we're gonna try to go fill the bird feeders back up and check on the suet we made, and then I'm gonna go up to a Amish store by me, I can't show it cause it's one of a kind and I could be found, so, um, I'm going to go up there and get something to cook on the grill, and then we're going to check on the ducks and everything, so yeah. I'll see you. We're going to get some bird feed, which is right here. I know it's weird doing a vlog. Just let me know what you think. But uh, there's another video there that's coming up soon. But we got this huge bag of bird food and buck jam and stuff, so what I'm going to do is actually, um, I'm going to take down this buck jam. We'll go to the trapping shed, get some corn, and then at the same time we'll feed the birds, so... Yeah, see you outside. Alright guys, so we're outside. I cleaned off the lens, but it still looks uh, blurry to me. But yeah, we're outside. And uh, yeah, really quick, I know I've already said it, but let me know if you like the vlog. If not, I just want to do them. Uh, it's just kind of an added in video. You know, I'm not messing with the schedule with other videos. But uh, yeah, so you can see behind me, there is the four-wheeler over there. There's a cat on it right now. But I loaded up the buck jam and the bird seat. I'll come and show you over here. Sorry about the camera angles, I'm new to this, so, you can see the cat here, but, that's Deer, or Pudge, she's the cute cat, but here we got, um, some buck jam, obviously it's just molasses, I know what's in that, it's just molasses, and then right in here, in our little seed bin, we've got our sunflower seeds, also guys, maybe instead of grilling, I'm actually just gonna fly an RC airplane, because it's so nice out. It's like, I don't know, I'd call this the first day of spring to me because it's really nice out. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get this started up. We're going to go down to the feeder and the trapping shed and get our corn and then feed the birds. So, see you down there. Okay, guys, we're down at the trapping shed. Um, that looks so dirty. It was raining yesterday after I did, like, three videos yesterday. But we got a problem in here. So, you know, I, like, left some peanut butter and some jelly last round for the well, last time. For the mice so I could bait them in well we kind of got the wrong thing here and we're gonna have to do a little rat trapping series here soon because if you look here that is not mouse here's my finger there's my finger there's the size of that poop that is 100% rat must be field rat because our jelly packets <laughs> You can kind of see our little peanut butter and jelly packets. Um, yeah, they weren't just nibbled on. They were actually completely shredded by teeth. So, they emptied the packets of jelly. The one packet's actually completely gone. So, there we go. As we're getting our corn down here, we're going to have to do a little rat trapping series. If you guys don't want to see that, let me know. But you could always just not watch that one if I was trapping them. But there's a hole in our corn bag. And, yeah, they've been eating the corn. So, we've got a bigger problem here. we got a big problem here because I can't have that down here. They could rip into the hides and everything. So, I guess now that we're in a field, um, got to deal with some field rats. So, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So, I'm going to load up this corn, a bag of corn on the ground here. We're going to take it down to the deer feeder. And uh, just wait till you see the results from the last time I checked the cam. It's insane little spoiler there's more than three deer there in one shot so yeah I'm pretty excited to show you guys that because there was a lot of deer so yeah we're gonna take what the heck is that we got those little rats and now we got a little beetle I'm trying to think what kind of beetle that is I should know but it's not focusing We've got a beetle on our bag he just crawled out of this hole so, let's flick him off. Got him off the bag. I'm going to take this out, load on the four-wheeler, and I'll see you at the bird feeder so we can give him some, maybe a little bit of corn, but if not, we'll give him some bird seeds. Let's see you down there. The wind's really starting to pick up here, but, uh, yeah. Um, super windy now. I like it, though. May not be good for you guys on the other side, but for me, it feels really nice right now because it's like 60 or 70. So, main things we were going to do was going to fill this up. Oh, bluebirds. You see that? There was two bluebirds right there. Let me zoom in on them. 
I know this is kind of a random thing in the vlog, but bluebirds, just for my mom to see, I wanted to film them. So that's a bluebird. So now we got bluebirds. So super happy those bluebirds are here. Want to make sure mom saw proof that they're actually here now. But the suet cake that was bought at the store has been here for two weeks now, it's gone. And look at our suet cake. It's not melted from the rain. It hasn't smushed. And there's suet. I'd say about a quarter of it is consumed already. It's kind of hard to film this because it's shaking, but see so those little peck marks? It's all from birds, and they've completely ate. This filled the whole cage, and it's all the outside's gone now. So I'm pretty happy for that. So if you've seen the suit cake video, they work. Um, what I did was I froze them in the pan, and then I chopped them out into squares. So it actually worked pretty good, but um, yeah. You can see this bird feeder. I literally just filled this bird feeder about two days ago. Or no, probably a day ago. And it's already half empty, so we got to refill that. This one, I'll put the rest into this one because this one, I got to clean their water out too sometime when that water clears up. Actually, I could do that in a minute here, but that was full of seed. Now it's all the sunflower is gone. This one is still full, but you can see where they put a dent in there. And they completely like emptied out that one side. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill all these back up and then we'll uh, drain their pan, get some fresh water. And I'll see you when everything's done, and I'll show what it what it looks like when it's all full. Okay, guys, I'm going to be off camera for a second here. But, uh, yeah, we just, so it's fine. Our water pan, we just cleaned it out and got some fresh creek water before it turned muddy from my boots. Uh, we filled that one all the way back up, and we even put the rest in there. And then that one's full again. So, yeah, and I put some in that coconut shell. The birdhouses, there's one there and one over in the woods. There's still nothing there, but soon we will start checking more often because there will be birds going to. So I will see you down at our deer bait pile, and I'm pretty excited to see um, see how clear it out it is. <laughs> so yeah, see you down there. Okay, everybody. So um, we're down at the bait pile. You can see our little salt lick. It, uh, there's so much corn down there. I'll show you. They didn't eat any, so I'm just going to take this down there and set it just for now, you know. They didn't eat any corn. Um, there's not even a piece missing, so we'll go. I'll show you that in a second. But we'll just take this down just for extra, and uh, we'll take our buck jam down. So I'll see you down at the bait pile in one second. Guys, I can't make this up. Like, you would not believe how much corn is gone. It is unreal. You, you want me to show you? Here you go. Here we go. We dumped two 50 pound bags of corn. And look what we have left. Nothing. There's not a single piece. And you know that the funny part is, is that they must have really been kicking the crap out of the salt lake because look at it. It's I know the, the water can do that, but it looks like one just, just stomped on it. Like literally. Like they have been on this thing like crazy. We got a little needle friend here. I don't know what he's doing. He's just chilling, you know. He's just chilling. I have no clue what he's doing. But oh well. Okay, guys. I just got some uh, B-roll of that beetle really quick for the next clip. But, um, yeah, I like taking pictures of them. But they literally got the salt brick. And they stomped on it. They must have. I don't think the rain could have even done it that bad. So It's only been not even two weeks. So, if you look over here. Our slope has so many deer tracks in it. I, you can't really see it, but if you look here, it's not from weathering. Those are all just trampled deer tracks going all the way through. And that's those little tiny pieces are from me bringing the corn down. Our camera's still fine. It's sitting there. I got the card yesterday. But you know how we had our sticks in the triangle? Well, now the sticks are no longer... They're just everywhere, guys. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't, I didn't bring a tripod with me since this is a vlog, but I'm gonna pour all the corn everywhere, and then put our buck jam on top of it after just a little bit, cause I wanted to do a video on the buck jam. But yeah, we're gonna fill all this back in. I'm gonna move the beetle so I don't hurt him, cause he's cool looking. And uh, we're gonna put the corn in. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys. So, um, 
I found the best way to use this buck jam or the molasses is to pretty much pop like a, just a hole in it. Don't just dump it out. I never thought of doing this, but uh, it works so much better than how I used to do it when I was little. Because I used to feed deer all the time at the old house. And um, I used buck jam all the time, but it seemed like it just went so fast whenever you poured it. So I popped a little hole in it. Barely used like, I don't know, like that much in the jug. Like that much. And look how much I covered. So I covered all this ground. You can see I covered all the corn with drizzles of it. And the Salt Lake got a ton of molasses. Put our sticks back up. This guy's fine. Don't worry about him. You can see him crawling there. See, he's going into that molasses. Let's check him out a second. See him? He went to the molasses and got some of that. I think that's a kind of ant. Is that like a queen ant or something? Can someone tell me? Is that like a queen ant or something, or is that just a beetle? So I'd like to get told that, but I know it's super far away right now, but yeah, I pretty much drizzled it all over the logs, every single log, and I drizzled it all over the corn. So yeah, I'll do um, another video with this and a different thing I bought for the deer cam, but you know, it's just a little vlog thing. Just restocking it, you know, getting the deer used to coming here. And, uh, yeah, I will see you. I'm going to either, um, well, first I'm going to take all this stuff inside. I think what I'm going to do is go to the store and get some hot dogs or something. And then come back and cook them on the grill. So I think I might do that. If, if I don't, though, I'll just fly my airplane. Because I, I have an RC airplane and I'm good at flying them. So it's either an RC airplane getting hot dogs and cooking them or both. So. I'll go to side now. See you in a minute. Hi right, guys. So um, we're on the road right now. I got full control of it, so don't worry about that. And I'm going slow. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to say really, you can see how slow I'm going. But uh, we're on the four wheeler, and uh, I'm gonna go to our local Amish goods store. And I'm either gonna get hot dogs or something to eat um, just now. So I'll see you when I get back. I can't show much because uh, you can find where I'm at. So. Uh, yeah, I will see you whenever I'm done getting what I'm getting or on, when I'm on my way back. So see you then. Okay, guys. So, uh, I know I look weird with this, uh, this sucker in my mouth, but, uh, <laughs> I'm going down the road. It's kind of awkward holding this. But I got a nice little, uh, orange sucker, so... I'm on a diet and these aren't bad, so... It looks really weird with this in my mouth talking, but... I got a piece of bologna, ring bologna, and I got a beef jerky stick, so... I'll see you back down at the house, and uh, we're probably gonna fly an RC airplane and end the video off, so uh... Yeah, just let me know how you like this video, and I'll see you when I get back. Okay guys, so I just got back from the place. I literally just did a whole take and I said the name of the place so I had to not, I had to cut it out so um, I just restarting this clip again but we're back home. I'm not sure if you can see her. Weenie. They want to see you weenie. Weenie. They want to. <laughs> She's being stubborn. I got some uh, ring bologna and I got a beef jerky stick which I'll get right now. But uh, the reason I sound kind of like out of breath because I have like severe chest pain right now. I don't know what from. It's like my back or something. And uh, that's why I sound like I'm out of wind. Because I am. Because it's hurting so bad it's making me not be able to breathe so much. So um, yeah. We're just going to get our lunch. <laughs> I know it's not a big lunch or anything. But it'll work. So pretty much I just got a piece of ring bologna. Here. This tractor's going by. So that's what's kind of loud. I got to block the name out though. So no one knows. But it's just ring bologna. We're just going to take some bites out of it because this stuff's delicious. You can never beat that. That ring bologna. It's delicious. So, uh, wind's really picking up, but that's why I bought that thing for the windscreen. So, I usually just eat the rest and not the skin. That's kind of weird. Cat wants some of her lunch, by the way. She's just here enjoying the 
beef stick. Here, you want some of this? My fingers are dirty. There you go. She likes it. Winnie likes that stuff. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish this, or eat most of it, give the rest to the cats, and then I will see you. I'm gonna fly my little RC airplane, so yeah, just let me know in the comments if you made it to this part or whatever, you know. Because I know it's a lot of videos. A lot of people just kind of skip through some of them. I know a lot of you guys don't do that, but a lot of people just skip through, and you know, I want it to be a lot of content in the video, so. As soon as I'm done eating this with the cat here, this is Weenie, by the way. You've seen her in past episodes. Um, we're gonna go and get my RC airplane, and I'm gonna go fly it. I'm gonna attempt to fly it. If it doesn't work, you'll just see a minute of it, but if it does work, I'll fly it for a bit, so yeah. I will see you for the ending uh, part of this vlog. So, hope you guys enjoyed so far. Fine. I hope you guys saw that um, my back um, is still hurting but I was able to stand up so uh, yeah thanks for watching sorry for the second outro but yeah hope you enjoyed let me know about the vlog and I'll see you in the next actual just regular video